Recently, Bubba Wallace has made an offensive gesture that has enraged the entire racing community. But what caused his bold middle finger during a post-race interview? As word spreads of a terrible occurrence, speculation goes wild. The number 23 team radio was hacked, spewing vicious hatred directly at Wallace. As NASCAR officials initiate an investigation to find the suspect's confusion deepens, so was the middle finger a reaction to this awful incident. Join us on NASCAR Zone as we uncover the truth behind this story. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. The North Wilkesboro Speedway proved to be an ideal spot for NASCAR's comeback, and the event was a smashing success. It was a fun event to witness from start to finish, and Kyle Larson's victory in the All-Star Race on Sunday was the highlight. In spite of this, Bubba Wallace, who finished in second place, was involved in an unexpected accident immediately after the race. Also, the unexpected thing he did on live TV has brought Chase Elliott into the spotlight. Wallace has done quite well to work his way back up the standings in the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series after getting off to a bad start. In point of fact, his performance on Sunday was an example of his development as a player. But everything went down the drain with the way he acted after the race. Bubba Wallace has been having a lot of success lately, and he has been putting on some great shows. His number 23 car showed off its speed again on an exciting Sunday at the famous North Wilkesboro Speedway which marked the triumphant return of NASCAR. Even though the 2311 racing driver worked hard, he wasn't quite able to win this time. Kyle Larson was unbeatable, so Wallace had to settle for a respectable second place. But the runner-up spot wasn't what everyone was talking about after the race. Instead, it was the daring act of giving the famous middle finger during the interview that got everyone's attention. People had a lot of different ideas about who the act was meant for, but there were a few names that kept coming up. After Bubba Wallace's post-race act of kindness at North Wilkesboro Speedway, he finds himself at the center of a lot of attention. Wallace has always been the kind of guy who speaks his mind, despite the fact that there have been instances in which this strategy has been unsuccessful. Wallace likes to keep things the same. In point of fact, his patience was put to the test after the Truck Series event that took place at the North Wilkesboro Speedway. The driver for 2311 Racing did not show any reaction or pay any attention to the booing from the crowd. Bubba Wallace is used to hearing boos when he shows up at races. The North Wilkesboro All-Star Race was no different. As soon as the 2311 Racing driver walked onto the stage, angry fans let out a chorus of boos. Wallace usually just waved back at the crowd, but he didn't do that this time. He liked playing the bad guy so he let out his inner Kyle Busch. He put his hands over his mouth and booed along with the crowd. Then, he put his hands over his eyes and acted like he was crying to make fun of the people who didn't agree with him. Wallace started talking to Fox's Jamie Little after a good race in which he beat every car except the winner. When asked what it would have taken to stop Kyle Larson, the driver ran his hand over his mouth and pulled on the collar of his fire suit. Then, in a brave and sneaky move, he showed his middle finger for a short time. Wallace answered jokingly, I don't know, I think we needed the louvers and whatever chewed up stuff they have on there. <laughs> no, it's just his capability throughout the whole run. Um, he could attack hard and then have something there at the end, so. When Bubba Wallace raised his middle finger in a rebellious way during the interview after the race, many people wondered who it was aimed at. People were full of theories and some wondered if it was a continuation of the bad guy part he had played during the driver introductions. Someone had broken into the number 23 team radio after the race and said a lot of racist things about Wallace. This made the rumors even worse. Where you came from, you asshole. You suck and you're not wanted in NASCAR. NASCAR officials are conducting a comprehensive investigation into the issue in an effort to identify and punish any employees who are responsible for it. On the other hand, that wasn't how Wallace's night in North Carolina came to an end. The driver, who was born in Alabama, was captured on camera making a derogatory hand gesture despite enjoying an incredible run on the track. NASCAR officials quickly stated that they were going to look into what happened and find out who accessed the channel and said those horrible things. 
a member of Wallace's team, said that he had not heard or noticed the offensive comments at the time they were made. What are your thoughts on the comments made by the crowd on Bubba Wallace? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to hit the bell button and subscribe to our channel to get the latest updates. As the mystery around the middle finger motion grows, it's still not clear if it was a reaction to the racist person who took over the team radio. The event adds another layer of complexity to a story that was already interesting, making everyone want to know the truth and see justice done. Fans discuss the difference in punishment meted out to Chase Elliott and Wallace in the wake of the bird flapping incident. Within the world of NASCAR, Bubba Wallace is unquestionably a well-known and well-respected figure. Despite the fact that many people condemned him for his behavior after the All-Star race, his devoted followers have connected it to the event with Chase Elliott in 2020. Elliott was furious with Hendrick Motorsports driver Kyle Busch after the Darlington race because Busch had spun him out of the race. As a matter of fact, in order to release some of the tension he was feeling, he gave Rowdy the middle finger to demonstrate his displeasure with Busch. Many people have suggested that because Elliott avoided examination at the time, Wallace ought to be subject to a different outcome. Many people came forward on Twitter and said many things regarding the incident. One person commented that the same people who detested Bubba Wallace's middle finger are the same ones who cheered when Chase Elliott did it. While another person commented, people are upset about the middle finger that Bubba Wallace gave. Chase Elliott's middle finger, not enough care. There are too many warnings. It slightly helps me understand that the majority of NASCAR fans are complete and utter jerks. Give us more middle fingers and arguments, please. Even much I despise Bubba. That bird is really funny. Having said that, one Elliot fan made an attempt to explain the difference between the two occurrences by comparing and contrasting them. He explained it like this. Context. Chase Elliott gave the finger to a car who had just rear-ended him. Something that one driver does to another driver every single weekend. Every. Single. Weekend. Bubba Wallace gave a middle finger salute to the camera for all of the viewers at home. Big difference. Despite the fact that both incidents are remarkably similar to one another, it is interesting to see how NASCAR handles the situation. The fact that Bubba Wallace was seen giving the middle finger during a post-race interview following his second-place finish at the All-Star Race held at the North Wilkesboro Speedway over the weekend will not result in any disciplinary action being taken against him by NASCAR. Fox Sports reported Monday that NASCAR decided not to find Wallace because they thought he was gesturing toward a friend and that, even though the motion itself was rude, it wasn't done with bad intentions. On Sunday, the 200-lap race was won by Kyle Larson, who also won his third all-star race in just the last five years. Wallace finished in second place behind Larson. According to Motorsport.com, Wallace didn't hear the message or recognize it. According to reports, NASCAR is looking into the situation. After a quick all-star race that was won by Kyle Larson, the NASCAR Cup Series will now go on to the longest race of the season, which will take place on Sunday at Charlotte Motor Speedway and will be 600 miles long. The race from the previous season was extended to two overtimes, making it the race with the most total miles completed in NASCAR history. 619.5. Denny Hamlin came out on top as the winner. In the previous year's marathon, there were 12 vehicles that did not get to the finish line, and the race was extended by 18 caution flags, which was the second most ever in the history of the 600. So let's see who wins this time. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.